I'm in Idaho Springs and this is I-70, which is a major corridor to get up to the hills to do some camping. And Idaho Springs seemed like a good place to stop today because it was where the gold rush began. Today I am in beautiful Idaho Springs, Colorado, and it's a busy Friday afternoon, so you can see there's a lot of traffic going by. And for those of you that are wondering where I'm staying, I found a 12-hour lot. It's a city lot. I saw that on freecampsites.net, but I double-checked the city ordinances myself. I actually went in and read the PDFs. There are 24-hour lots that I passed, but they had no camping signs. This 12 one had nothing like that. This is a major trailhead. And uh, when I was a kid, Idaho Springs was like the place that lets you know you were in the mountains when you left the city. Once you go up I-70 from here, it's, you know, Glenwood Springs and Vail and Breckenridge and Aspen, uh, all the way through the mountains. So this is a really great town. There's lots of little shops and a river where people whitewater raft and tons of camping around here. So I'm headed down towards Bojo's Pizza, which is like a Colorado rite of passage. If you come here, you have to go to Bojo's. And don't be freaked out that people in Colorado put honey on their pizza crust uh, because that's a thing here. And also, natives honk in the tunnels up here in the mountains, so it's not that they're mad at you. They're just letting you know that they're from Colorado. I'm actually going to head into the visitor center here because it's got a cool free museum and it's also the ranger station for the Forest Service so I wanted to pop in and talk to the ranger about fire safety. And this is just a cool little museum. They've got a lot of great mining stuff and just stuff about the history of the town and everything is really well preserved. Hey honey, you come around here often? Uh, get in the car. I'm a friend of your mother's. So George Jackson discovered gold in 1859 here, and he was one of the founders of this city. This place really gives you an idea of what it must have been like for these miners. It had to have been a tough life here, especially in the winter, and I really like this museum. I was here one time before. Uh, it's free. They do accept donations if you want to give them, but um, it's fun to see the stuff before you go back into the town and enjoy all the stuff that we have there now. And I have to tell you, Idaho Springs has totally changed since I was a kid. Now there are a bunch of really cool breweries and restaurants and bars, and it just has changed totally. Walking up and down through Idaho Springs, it's hard to decide where to have a bite to eat, but I finally ended up at this great place where I sat at the bar where Billy the Kid used to drink, and they actually ripped this bar out of the place it used to be in Leadville, Colorado, and brought it down to Idaho Springs, and I thought that that was a good place to end my Idaho Springs trip because next I'm headed to Leadville. I hope you guys enjoyed Idaho Springs. I'm headed up the hills. I hope you guys liked it. Please share and subscribe and comment below. Everybody be safe out there and be free.